Hello folks, so today we are going to discuss um, how to make over uh, a good PC from the old one, give it a nice modern look. So if you think your old PC is, um, is a gar piece of garbage, that's really not true. So I have this uh, old HP Pavilion box which had a Pentium based processor in it but uh, it was uh, good enough to fit in M80X port inside so let's uh, convert it into some useful box and uh, we get the result into this one first thing we need to do is uh, just open the box and remove the covers uh, from both sides and uh, just take everything out when I say everything out that means really really everything out so in this one what I had done I had taken out uh, the board the cards the fans and specifically two uh, adapters number one and number two number one was for the hard disk it could accommodate two of them and number one for the card reader and floppy disk so <laughs> Uh, just uh, took those out and at number three there was a DVD uh, read write so I took that out as well so that gives me an uh, empty box <coughs> like this one after removing everything uh, we basically wash all the components that we had removed with mild soap in um, in a place uh, which suits your needs and then uh, and then basically use a hair dryer to uh, dry it up nicely we do not want any moisture to uh, stay within uh, uh, the joints anywhere because that can cause rust so best thing is that dry it out as soon as possible and uh, hair dryer is a good method to do that then what I have done, uh, I just uh, put in the adapter for the hard drives which you see at the bottom with uh, green plastic on it into the bay that was uh, holding uh, the DVD writer and that uh, would fit inside nicely. Only thing is that uh, you need to put in a couple of screws uh, depending on uh, the construction of the box where you want to put them so that you hold it in tight in place. The 8 inch exhaust fan basically goes in this portion. The next process is pretty straightforward. Uh, you need to just uh, paint it nicely, get a metal paint and then um, paint the box uh, as per the instructions on the, on the can. And uh, so this is uh, th th this is pretty nice, and uh, it's better done in the daylight when sun is shining. So it gives uh, it a pretty nice shining look. Then you cover uh, the parts uh, on the plastic uh, uh, front cover and the top cover that you do not want to paint over uh, with uh, a painters uh, tape and you have to be really take your time be meticulous and make sure uh, you cover it nicely do not over cover it or do not under cover it and then uh, uh, just uh, get it painted and once uh, the front and back portion uh, is is painted so uh, that pretty much uh, is what you need to paint except uh, uh, that uh, you have to paint the power supply as well so this is how the the painted uh, covers look like this is the uh, paint on on the cover which is a, a plastic basically and this paint uh, doesn't hold very very strong so we have to make sure that we do not scratch this part and then obviously uh, take the uh, cover uh, off the power supply and with simple nice strokes uh, paint the power supply as well that was already existing on the ATX uh, machine inside 
Uh, however, uh, it is recommended that uh, we should buy a new power supply because generally old power supplies are underpowered. This one is was 250 watts, which was okay for the basic needs, but uh, for the graphics card, I ordered a 500 watt uh, supply, and then I'm gonna use a graphics card later on. Right now, I'm just using the one that I have. Once um, uh, your components uh, or your box uh, are ready to be used, everything is uh, nice and dried up, then uh, you basically uh, put in your motherboard. In this case, I had taken out uh, a motherboard from a Lenovo uh, uh, PC, which was um, basically a low profile, uh, small form factor. Uh, PC and it did not have the space and did not have the power in the power supply to put in a nice graphics card so this uh, this is where I just transferred all those stuff uh, into this box put it in nicely make your your connections Lenovo is pretty non-standard in terms of the connector so uh, this was this had a connector which was 14 pin so I had to uh, modify from 20 pin to uh, 14 pin connector right uh, out of the uh, power supply connector and uh, that's a different uh, topic and you can search on the internet it's not a difficult job it's pretty easy that you can do yourself where uh, the old hard drives were so I removed those um, uh, adapters for the hard drives to fit in something like 8 inch fan this 8 inch fan is uh, with some simple basic uh, LED lights just to give a little bit of a modern look though there is not much to see inside this box but uh, I made a space so that I have a better airflow so now this uh, unit has three fans one for the CPU of course and then on the back side which blows the air uh, uh, inside the inside the box and then uh, the 8 inch fan which will blow the air out so uh, this way this uh, this is gonna stay pretty nice and cool of course the power supply has its own which blows the air out so uh, this piece is gonna stay nice and cold once you are done with your uh, setup inside, stow away all your, your cables, put in the SSD that I have uh, shown in here. I'm just using uh, zip ties to hold it together. Uh, then you put in the top cover and the front cover on it. And uh, this PC is uh, basically ready to be used. So as a test, I switched on the, the power and then uh, this, this comes on very nicely. So this is how it looks, uh, the LED lights and all those stuff inside. Alright guys, so system is up and then running. I installed it for the kids. Now I have to set up kids stuff on this. I have also installed uh, some uh, color changing LED on the top part of it and that shows up uh, nicely on uh, the front side so this is how it looks thank you very much for watching and have a great one